And so personally for me, I don't think it's going to be easy for a guy at his level, guy being this famous for being this strong, is going to be able to cope with losing so much strength after being so strong for so many years. I simply think eventually he's going to say, I really want to break that deadlift record. I really want to deadlift a thousand pounds. Coach Greg and Larry Wheels is struggling hard, harder than last time. He's already feeling the effects of being HRT and personally, I don't know how long he's going to be able to do this. I think before you know it, Larry Wheels going to hop back on cycle within months, not years, as I've watched a video and it is harder than he thought. Coming off gear, going back to HRT doses, it's worse than he expected. Flatter, lighter on my feet. Less pump. Significantly less pump. So the pump I got while I was full blast is night and day compared to the yeah, pump yeah. I get now. Okay, and so it's only been weeks that Larry Wheels has been on HRT doses, 175 milligrams a week. That is a high HRT dose. And already, pump almost gone. Can hardly even notice it. And so he's going to the gym and training, it just doesn't feel the same. And so when I took steroids for 10 years, I would go on and off. And so I knew exactly how it felt. Oftentimes, I would be completely off, not even on HRT. And so I can remember the feeling of being on and the feeling of being off. And let me tell you, it's a nightmare. It is horrible. You're losing strength, getting weaker, losing pounds on the scale. It is not fun. And this is every single time you go to the gym. And so most people, they can't handle it. They see themselves getting weaker, their shirts getting loose on them, and they go back on. And Larry Wheels already seeing a huge drop off in his pump. And it's only been weeks it's going to continue to get worse, far worse. He's only lost four kilograms so far. That's nine pounds, only nine pounds. And although he's on HRT now, it's not as if the effects of what he was taking in the past are not still lingering in his body. It's gonna take at least a year longer before he experiences the dramatic drop in size and strength, feeling in the gym from having taken PDs for years. How's Larry so strong and he's only on TRT? Like something's up with those plates. And so how is Larry Wheel so strong? He's only on HRT. The guy abused PDs for over 10 years. You're not gonna lose all your strength in a month. After all, it takes a long time for the esters to clear out of your system. Just because you've been off four, six weeks, doesn't mean you're not still feeling the benefits of the cycle you just did. And even once the testosterone's out of his system, it's not totally gone, he's on HRT. But still, the muscles are going to shrink. You can't keep all the size you had while you're on when you're only on HRT doses. The body just doesn't have the ability to keep building all that tissue. And so your muscles are constantly being broken down and being rebuilt. And when you go on HRT in comparison to a real cycle, the muscles can't be rebuilt as fast as they were. And so they get broken down. And the end result, they get significantly smaller. Something's up with those plates. <laughs> Remember Jesse James? Yes. <laughs> Maybe those fake plates are still here, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and I do not believe that Larry Wheels will resort to using fake plates to pretend he's as strong as he was. He's gonna be 100% open and transparent, letting us know exactly how strong he is, how much strength has he lost. Today, I'm going to be testing what my training max is for the next 12 weeks, so. And Larry being smarter than last time, he's not going for his one rep max, he's going for a five rep max to estimate what he can do for one rep. A lot smarter because he doesn't want to get hurt. It's not worth trying to load up the maximum amount of weight. It's not worth risking injury, putting on the heaviest load possible and trying to get a one rep max. And so, and so he's going to be attempting a weight he can get for five reps. And on the squat, six plates aside, he gets it for an easy five and holds back a little bit. Probably could have got two, maybe even three more reps. And he's only squatted three times in the last six months. And so for me, this is phenomenal. However, in comparison, he was squatting 900 pounds in the past. And so although he's still freakishly strong, he's one rep max squat, probably somewhere around 700 pounds, about 80% of what he was when he was on a real cycle. His bench, five plates, paused for five reps. That is remarkable. At my absolute strongest on all the drugs in the world could only get four reps with five plates. And so Larry on HRT, still stronger than Coach Greg. Remember, I had world records in the past, but I do believe over time he will continue to get weaker. 
He's going on a 12-week training program to see how strong he can get. And perhaps right now, he'll be able to improve his lifts. But that is only because he's been on a layoff. He has only squatted three times in the last six months. And so he has a lot of newbie gains he can still make. I know he's been training for years, but we've only trained three times in six months. Those gains, they can come very quickly. But sooner or later, his increase in neurological strength will be subdued from the fact that his muscles are going to get smaller, coupled with the fact he's getting his blood work done in a couple weeks. And I do believe that 175 milligrams of HRT a week may in fact put him above the reference range for being normal. He most likely wants to be in the high normal range and what if he finds out it's above the high norm? What if he has to drop the dose to, for example, Coach Greg's dose, 140? What about 100? The lower his dose, the lower his progress is going to be. And so for the next 12 weeks, he should be okay. He's still on 175 milligrams. He hasn't trained in a while. And so he's going to get stronger simply by relearning how to do the exercise properly. But those newbie, or shall we say, relearning the exercise gains, they won't last very long. And so after three months, when he then tries to rebuild from that, he's going to see a drop in strength and he has to be prepared for this. And so Larry Wheels is ecstatic over these numbers. It far exceeded his expectations. But remember, it's very early. He's only been on HRT for weeks and it's gonna get significantly worse. And remember, in the past 10 plus years, he's only ever been on HRT and it wasn't HRT, it was actually a small cycle around 250 milligrams. And he was just playing around back then. He wasn't trying to peak for a meek. He was just playing around in the gym, just having fun. And so one or two months after a cycle, you're still feeling some of the benefits from having done that cycle. For me, it usually started around six weeks after stopping. And at that point, I really started to notice, hey, I'm now off. I don't feel so good. I'm not too over uh, where I should be uh, because I don't want to be on a mini cycle. You know, I really do want to be on TRT. And so he doesn't want to be on a mini cycle. And so if his HRT dose is too high and it goes down, imagine what's going to do. Imagine once the strength starts to go down, he's already losing the pumps. He's already lost nine pounds and he's going to continue to lose more. And so personally for me, I don't think it's going to be easy for a guy at his level, guy being this famous for being this strong, is going to be able to cope with losing so much strength after being so strong for so many years. I hope he can, of course, I'm rooting for him. I simply think eventually he's going to say, I really want to break that deadlift record. I really want to deadlift a thousand pounds. And although I'm not nearly as strong as Larry, I still know what it's like to be known for being strong have the world record in the bench press for 40 plus, and I'm in the Guinness book for sumo deadlifts. What did I do? After all, I've been on HRT only for over three years, 140 milligrams a week. I've lost a significant amount of strength and size, and so how am I coping with it? Well, what I did is I changed my goals to something else. I wanted to get fast on the bike. And so although I'm not seeing size and strength gains in the gym right now, I'm seeing improvements on the bike. And so in my opinion, for Larry to be able to continue to only be on HRT, he has to set his sights on different goals. Who knows, perhaps Larry could set Guinness records. He certainly looks strong enough. I'm sure there are several events that Larry was genetically made for, that he's blessed that he could set his sights on and break those records. And if he can do that, get his excitement, his fun, his dopamine somewhere else, Maybe he could race bikes. Who knows? Perhaps Larry Wheels could set world records sprinting on a bike. We don't know. We don't know just how good he could be at something else. But if he continues to try to be the best at squat, bench, and deadlifts, and he remembers how strong he was when he was on, and he remembers the pumps he used to get when he was blasting, it's not going to be too long before he misses that and wants to go back on yet again. Look, if I can start from here and maintain this all throughout prep, and then hit even bigger numbers on 175 a week. And so you can see his goals, they are perhaps a little bit far-fetched. If I can just maintain this and get a bit stronger on 175 milligrams, well, I'm all set. Yeah, if you can, but what if you can? What if your bench press goes from five plates for five to five plates for two? Will you be able to handle that? And if not, what is your backup plan at that time? Even only losing four kg on the scale, but it makes a big difference on your physique. It's the fullness thing. Exactly. Fullness, hardness, not as rigid. You don't feel as strong. Uh, but the workouts are much easier. My recovery between sets is so much shorter. Now this, I feel this is a stretch. He's saying, since I've lost four kilograms, that's nine pounds, my recovery between sets, it's a lot better. I have more stamina. I feel better in the gym. I don't think so. If I were to take steroids right now, 500 milligrams a week of test, my stamina would increase. 
I would feel better. I would be able to go longer, harder in the gym. And I feel like I can go on much longer. Plus, when it comes to arm wrestling as well, I'm not getting pumped, I'm not getting blown up with a few minutes. And so perhaps it's psychological or perhaps he was on so many drugs that it was affecting his health that he wasn't feeling good. Because when you're on steroids, you actually should have increased stamina, not decreased. And as far as arm wrestling is concerned, he's saying, I don't have as great of a pump and so that's benefiting him. But there are in fact PDs that you can take that do not increase the pump and simply make you stronger. And so if he continues to arm wrestle without PDs, over time, he's not going to get stronger. He's going to get weaker. Training itself is certainly easier, uh, but you know, there's a trade-off. I'm not gonna lift that same ceiling that I had when I was on blast. And so he's saying training is easier. Well, perhaps it hasn't been long enough that he's only on HRT. Just ask James English, is training actually easier when you're only on HRT doses in comparison to when you're blasting? I, I don't, I have not been motivated to lift for like since prep. Unless perhaps he's bulking, force feeding, feeling sluggish and so on. But I can't see how losing four kilograms of body weight is gonna make a significant increase in his recovery in the gym. I never really got to see what I was really capable of. That's why I'm so excited about this journey. And thank you for joining me on it. But listen, so far so good. It's working amazingly well for him. So we wish he can continue on with his journey of being on HRT alone. Hopefully he continues to make progress. I just want him to have realistic goals and realize that it may not last forever. He's already lost his pumps in the gym and he's down nine pounds and for me, this is just the start of it. When you go on HRT from being on steroids, you're going to get weaker for at least a year. And so let me know in the comment section, what do you think about Larry? Do you think he's going to actually get stronger over the next year? Do you think he's going to go back on? How long will he be able to hold out on just HRT alone? Ending it here. Looking for HGLT subs, use code GREG, 10% off. Visit hgltsups.com or gregduset.com. You can get training books, cookbooks, circle diet book, coaching plans by me and my team. Like the video if you liked it. Please watch one of the bloops, subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. And until next time, I'm out.